everyone! This is Honeywell, and this is episode 17 of The Perfect Town. In this episode, we are going to get our forest hubs back here up and running. Uh, so let's start doing that. The first thing we're going to do is unpause some of these houses. The more workers that we have back here, the better. Do you know what? Actually, I'm just going to unpause 60. We have room for 60 houses. I'm just going to unpause all of this at once, and it can be built in any order that comes up, really. And then I don't have to sit back here and uh, babysit it. Which seems like a good plan. One thing I'm not real too keen on is the position of this hospital. It's going to guarantee that these fishermen are pretty much infected, I would think. I, you know what? I don't even care. We'll keep it there. You might want to be more careful with the placement of your hospitals, though. It's probably a good idea. And we also have a little chapel and a few cemeteries back here, as well as a house for the cleric. Um, which is not going to be covered by the marketplace, but I think that's fine. Up, oh, and we just were talking about hospital placement, and we have a third disease. Dysentery is uh, low on the list of of deadly diseases, although it can it can linger for a bit. As people get infected and reinfected. We're going to increase our speed, though. And let's see. I don't know if you guys can, can see the lag, but my game is definitely lagging a little bit. But even if the series does end a little bit sooner than I had hoped, um, I think there's still a lot of good information in this series. And if you were struggling with your getting your town up and running, I hope this is this has helped a little bit. Um, we spent a lot of time on on kind of the storage and making sure that your infrastructure was good, um, making sure that you have homes close to to your workplaces, and you have the supporting buildings they need, which is basically the barns and the stockpiles. Um, we've covered market placement. Um, what else have we done? We've done a lot with trading. I know trading was one of the things that seemed very hard um, at first, and I didn't, I didn't fully understand kind of how you how to utilize it. But we have that. And even we're even setting up a uh, second trading post area in order to get better coverage for the town. Expanding into new areas. And why is everyone sick back here? Huh. I guess it must have started back here. Well, that hospital uh, would have been nice. Hmm. 
Oh, because we have so many laborers back here. Because we have uh, so many people working from different areas of the map, this disease is going to be a mess. Because all of these people don't live back here, I'm pretty sure they're going to go to the hospital closest to where they live. So this is going to be spread out through everywhere. Yep. Absolutely. Let's see. What a mess. And they're not even registering that they're sick yet. Well, it looks like we're going to have our first bad disease. We were pretty, uh, we were pretty lucky with the, uh, what, the mumps in influenza? But this is going to be a disaster. Well, not a disaster, but... We don't have a hospital for this area yet. But yeah, this is getting spread from one end of the city to the other. And this person right here, um, they're going to visit the doctor. They're not going to the nearest hospital. They go to the, I think, and I could be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. They go to the, the nearest hospital to where they live. And since we have so many laborers working in this area, they're getting infected and then they're walking back to kind of where they live to go to the doctor. So that is a, that's kind of a mess. In this tunnel, every time they go in, they're going to become, they're going to infect somebody. Let's put the speed back up. Up and we had one person die of dysentery. Which I'm kind of actually surprised that it's not more given how far they have to walk. And each time they go into these tunnels. I wonder if it's worth pausing all the construction back here in order to, to stop this from happening. Or if I should just let it play out. I do not even know. They're coming down here, getting infected, and then they have to walk all the way back to the hospital near where they live. Yeah, only the people that live back here are going to this hospital that's close. And that's our second dysentery death. Uh, when dysentery isn't very deadly at all. So it's just going to show how long these these walks are. And our third dysentery death. We do have a teacher here. You know, I think we're going to have to pause this in order to get this under control. Get all of these workers to stop coming back here. We'll see what kind of effect that has. See if we can get this uh, cleared up and done. Because 
because I just don't see this ever clearing up if if they're all coming back here to work. Maybe we'll leave the hospital back here. Well, not even that, really. Because it's not lack of hospitals that's causing the problem. Yep, fourth death. It's the... It's the trip that's killing everybody. Let's get all these people back to where they live so they can go straight to a hospital instead of going through all of these tunnels, infecting everybody. And what else do we want to do? Let's, uh... Let's cancel the removal of all this stuff. Get everyone back to their homes so they can be treated. Let's pause that. Whoop. And that. What else? And that. Okay, sick people, go home. Be treated. And as soon as this... Why are all these people still coming out here, though? What else do I have? I thought I had it all paused. They might be finishing up their lax action, though. Okay. That's better. Hopefully the, uh, these people will stop with this nonsense. Look, he realized he was sick and he's going right back now. Okay, that is better. Hopefully, uh... Up oh, and there's another dysentery. Dysentery, old age, old age. And as soon as this disease dies out, we'll go ahead and... and start building back there. That was just a mess. What are the odds of that, that timing? Once you have your... The reason why you want the, the hospitals in each area is so you don't contaminate your whole map that way. And because we had so many laborers back here working, it was just... what should have been a harmless, harmless little outbreak turned into. But I don't even know. It was like... The numbers were really high. And we're down to four. And again, a little bit of lag, which is annoying. What about you, guy? Are you going to the hospital? Up oh, another dysentery death. And I think there were so many deaths um, because the walks were so were so high. What the hospital does is decreases the chance um, your citizens will die from a disease. But if they're walking all over the place trying to get to a hospital, obviously that doesn't. It doesn't help them. They die on their way. Okay, now that the disease is done and run its course, we'll go ahead and unpause this stuff again. And get this stuff built. So I guess we had a little uh, disease management lesson today.
And I guess I should have um, stopped construction back here a lot sooner than I did. But live and learn. I think it was because uh, dysentery is, I don't know, it's probably like the, the least deadly disease. I was like, eh, it won't be so bad. nice if you can highlight an area and pause and unpause it. And our food is still a lot lower than I would like. Our fish is catching up though, so that's good. I'm happy about that. Raise that back up to make sure there's three on every dock. And let's see what's going on. Yeah, a full and full. Yeah, we still haven't got the shipments of the food in that I would like. Of course, even though we don't have these shipments in yet, we still have plenty of food. We have 130,000 food. Um, our population is 800, uh, so we have more than enough food to feed everybody for at least a year, a little bit longer. But I guess I could increase, we're going to put in two gatherers huts, so I guess we can increase our gatherers by four right now, which will bring in a little bit more food, and then once they're built, they'll automatically, it'll be reduced down to two. And I guess we could put on three more fishermen for this stock. for when that one eventually gets built, which will help a tiny bit. Oh. And it looks like we need our church over here to be built, which is just a matter of time. You know, I guess we can, let's just, Let's just put a hundred builders on. Most of these projects back here look like they're just waiting for builders, so I don't see why not. And with these trading posts back here, I just want them um, built. We're not going to do anything with them yet. There's no there's no houses or anything like that over here yet, but eventually there will be. And actually this way I could even probably... Yeah. I can even start ordering things. Like from our general merchants we want apples, beans, and wheat. good. We're getting some woodcutters in. Um, our hunters, let's raise those up. And what, we want three more over here. One, two, three. Our foresters, we want eight more.
we already accounted for the extra gatherers that we want. Another woodcutter. And we have our fishermen in place. Yeah, everything's gone good. And our food finally bumped up a tiny bit. I'm assuming we just got a shipment in. Let's increase our food to 400,000. And we'll turn off this trading post. Yeah, we just bought some, uh, we just got some food here. Um, what is that? A th thousand? Two thousand? Let's get the rest of what these boats have. I'll dismiss you. Let's see. And this is still waiting for a food order. Um, and so is this one. But that is okay, because we we're prepared for that. And when I would start, if... The amount of food that I would start um, considering releasing. One, if um, upping the production didn't increase our food supply, um, I would absolutely just release some of this food that we have stored over in these trading posts back into the supply. And the point that I would do that is probably if there wasn't enough food to keep our our market stopped. So once we got around under the um, the 90,000 mark is when I would seriously um, start to consider will we need to release some food back into the into the market. And then once we got our shipments in, I would restock up our our backup supply. Uh, because that's in part what it's here for. Um, for the occasions when we have a string of bad luck with our traders. And we only have four who don't have jobs, which means just about everything should be up and running back here then. And there's our herbalist. Let's increase that to one, increase those to six. Yeah, and this section is built. Let's get a cleric. We just have a few cemeteries to put in. And there's no, this is almost perfectly what I had in mind when I stockpiled the, the inventory to try and have an abundance of fish, apples, wheats, and beans. But it looks like uh, the beans didn't work. But you'll see they have a bit of everything. So they have fruit, the apples, meat, the fish, um, plus the, the wheat. And of course they just ate the roots, but hopefully they'll get some uh, vegetables back here. And there's a large amount of wheat. Okay, they're getting the beans in. 
So apples, beans, fish, and wheat, that will keep everybody healthy. So even though there's not a lot of variety back here, um, right now there is everything everyone needs. But other than that, I say this episode is over. We have an acceptable amount of everything in stock, except for stone. Stone is extremely low, so hopefully we'll get um, some shipments of stone. Our firewood is low as well. But we just put in two more woodcutters, and one woodcutter last episode. And they're still not up to full speed yet, so hopefully between these three new woodcutters, we've uh, we've at least caught up to our firewood. Nope, produced 4780, used 6387. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And maybe next episode we'll start purchasing, purchasing some firewood uh, from the traders to try and keep us uh, stocked up until we uh, stop building, get a firm, a firm number of how much we need and can plan that way. Yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in episode 18.